What? You going down, people of the world? Redbeard here, coming at you from the Hard Rock 42 Gastro Pub. First ever restaurant review. The beer menu. And the food menu. They're the same size. Marcel's flight arrived first. He is drinking. Fain's Monde, Honey Elixir, Apple, La Femme Mère, and the Bearded Lady. You said La Fin de Monde. Fain's Monde. That is from Unibrew. This yeah. is the Honey Elixir from Railway City that is amazing. And then you said that is... The Apple, Apple. Apple Ephemiere by Findemol. And the Unibrew. Bearded Lady, sorry, yeah, Unibrew, Findemol's the brewery, not the, oh my god. Good times. And Bearded Lady yeah. is by the Highlander Brewing Company, whose beers I have not tried yet. I need to fix that soon. I certainly do. Got myself a flight, retrying a couple things and trying one new thing Bone Shaker. India Pale Ale. Shattercone India Pale Ale by the Stack Brewing Company here in Sudbury. I thought, you know, yeah, give them a little shout out, go Stack. Uh, the Rye Pale Ale from Cameron's, kind of scared. And Goose Island IPA. So, didn't like, haven't tried, didn't like, didn't like. Could be fun. Bone Shaker, pretty sure this is in the eight or nine percent range. A little, uh, little bit scary. A little bit. I don't have the menu anymore. Can't tell. We're, we're guessing. Guessing is fun. Literally getting like no aroma off this. Give her a shot. That's not really very hoppy at all. It's unusual. I'm not sure if I... I'm not really sure what I thought exactly of it the first time, but I'm pretty sure it was a little strong. This is completely okay. Let's do it in two. Drink numbers are last. You're going to down all those in two. That's decent. I don't think I rated this originally. I'd give that somewhere, somewhere in the seven and a half, eight range, I think. Not really hoppy enough for me. Decent multi flavor for an IPA though, for sure. Marcel's into the honey elixir right now. He's gonna uh, give us his opinion. It's very good, it's very calm, a lot of bubbles or head on it, but very flavorful. Got a nice smooth finish, a little sweet for my liking. I like a little bit more of a malty kind of finish, but very good overall. Gives it like a seven. I'm pretty sure I gave that a 10, so Marcel's taste is a little bit different than my taste. Number two, Shattercone by Stack Brewing. Haven't had this one before, so let's give this a shot. That's not bad. It's actually really surprisingly smooth for an IPA. Like really smooth. Kind of the poppiness there, then maltiness, then gone. I don't mind that at all. Nothing really kind of jumping out in a really exciting kind of way, but it's a very smooth, kind of refreshing, clean flavor. Drink numbers are last. Decent. Solid eight. Solid eight. Hmm. Marcel is drinking La Fin de Monde because he's insane. 
Yeah, I also bought some Fangs of Bone today to take home and have later. This is just like a, a starter of the four other ones that I'm gonna have later on in the evening. So good. All time top five favorite beer. Fangs of Bone, Unibrew Company, fantastic. My best friend is disgusting. Cameron's. The goddamn rye pale ale that I really was not a fan of the first time it was tried. Let's give her a shot. Oh, I'm scared. Still not, not so much a fan. That's got a lot of almost overpowering rye flavor that just like sits in the back of your throat. It's just sitting there. It's good. Not in, no, I, like Monty's Rye Lager Dale or whatever the hell it was by Old Tomorrow? That was a rye type beer that I really enjoyed. This is not. There's like a nice kind of hoppy flavor that's there right, right off the start for like a second before the rye comes in and just smashes it out of the way. God damn. Drink that was the last. Five. You said that initial flavor is not bad. The kind of lingery flavor after the rye dissipates is kind of nice as well. But the rye, a little much for me. The uh, apple apple ma by Unibro. Oh yeah. FM yeah yeah. Oh okay. FM yeah. Marcel's French pronunciation is weird. It's very good, very smooth, nice apple flavor. Just fantastic, like eight and a half. High praise from the ultra critical bastard. The end of the flight is beginning. Goose Island IPA. Pretty sure was not a fan when it was first tried. Let's give her a shot. Oh. Wow. That is infinitely more hoppy than any of these was off the start. Really nice hoppy bite going on. Very nice. Mmm. Bit of that piney kind of flavor. Maybe a bit of... I'm not a big fan of, I don't want to say this, but maybe a bit of grapefruit flavor in there. But it kind of actually works okay with the, fact of the other flavors of the beer. Wow, I don't mind that. Well done, Goose Island. Even though you're probably the, the least crafty of these breweries that I just tried. You're not small. Goose is big. Drink numbers are last. Rating on that. Solid eight and a half. Like very solid. That was really quite tasty. And now I wait for food. So Hard Rock 42, Gastro Pump. We've got your Jack Burger right here. With no tomato because I'm not a fan of tomatoes. Even just the bun on this is really big. It's like jalapenos and barbecue sauce and it's a spicy burger basically. And let's give her a bite. Oh, that's awesome. Lettuce, tomato, pickle, onion, double bacon. 
Jack Burger. Mm-hmm. Black Jack Burger. Peppercorn Cross, Jalapeno, Lettuce, Tomato, JD Barbecue Sauce, Cheddar, and Mozzarella Cheese. That is so good. Uh, I'll be here from 2 p.m. on Oh my god. Wow. First time ever doing a burger burger food review on the channel. But um one more bite. It won't be tomorrow. Mmm. Wow. Definitely kind of spicy, but great flavors. This is this is a very very solid nine out of ten burger right here. Nine out of ten, eh? Damn straight. And that is whenever I go to a restaurant for the first time, burger. Burger is what's ordered. And Hard Rock Forty Two does it well. Marcel ordered the buffalo chicken poutine. Very good. It was spicy, but very choice. Got chicken fingers, bacon, gravy. Oh, just delicious. I don't like poutine, so once again, I would like to reiterate that my best friend is disgusting. And I guess that's going to pretty much do it for this vlog. You know, if you're in the Sudbury, Ontario area, Come to the Hard Rock 42 Gastro Pub and check it out. This place is great. Yeah. But thanks for watching, and um, I'll be back with some kind of video tomorrow. Peace out! I'm skinning up my skin because that shit is old, but the skin underneath it's made of gold. Bitch, it's made of gold. The skin underneath is made of gold. I'm skinning up my skin because that shit is old, but the skin underneath is made of gold. Bitch, it's made of gold. The skin underneath is made of gold. Brett from Hard Rock is being <laughs> awesome and letting me come behind the bar for a second here. I just had to. I had to give a pan by of all the taps they've got. This is crazy. <laughs> that is a selection.